fitness.com and I'm here with Mark Herslick, yep. who is a linebacker for Boston College with the, probably one of the most inspirational stories of the year. Mark had cancer, bone cancer. Yep. And uh, tell us. Yeah, so uh, in 2008, uh, I played for Boston College and played linebacker and got ACC Defensive Player of the Year and was on kind of you know, the top of my game. And then uh, in 2009, uh, had a doctor's appointment and they diagnosed me with Ewing sarcoma, which is a very rare bone cancer. Were they just diagnosed you with that? Were you having symptoms or? You know, it, it came out of nowhere. I was having some pain in my leg, uh, a little bit of swelling, but you know, I really thought it was just from playing football. Uh, so I, I eventually got an MRI and just showed up. Scary. What was that moment like? It was not a good one. I'll tell you that. Um, Terrible you know, question. I always, no, it's. I always describe it where uh, it's like when you're sitting in a chair and you're, you're tipping back in the chair, and you get to that point right where you're about to fall back, where you feel your stomach drop, and that's you know that's exactly how I felt where my whole life was turned upside down. Uh, you know, I was planning on going to the NFL, playing football, and all of a sudden they told me, not only are you not going to play football, but you're never going to play football. That's it's tough for a 21 year old to hear that. So you, so you went through all the horrible treatments. Yep, and so chemotherapy for six months, radiation, 50 cycles, I uh, had surgery to put a rod through my leg, uh, and then finally, uh, September 4th of 2010, uh, I was able to play. And so I got back on the field with my team, uh, and started all 13 games this past year. And now I'm training for the NFL. And you're one of the biggest, strongest, fittest men I've ever stood next to. It's amazing, no one would ever believe. I know, and that's that's what this weekend is about. So where, uh, you know, you see, uh, you know, the guy size and it's great. And, you know, doesn't look like he ever had to sound like right here, but you know, whatever it is, whether it's cancer, whether it's you know a stick, you know, bad grade in school, whether you know you got did something you know, where you got grounded, there's always something like that and you can get through it. Now, um, I assume eating right and exercise have a ton to do with your complete recovery and, and what do you say to the kids out there who they would, they would egg kill and look and be as strong as you but you know there's a lot of couch potatoes where kids just don't even know where to start what's your advice to them? Right, well, you know, my biggest thing when I was younger, uh, I loved being on the south. You know, I, you know, I love video games too, but, but I always, you know, loved playing basketball with my buddies, playing football in the backyard, uh, and you know, that that's something that keyed it. I, I can't sit here and say that I never had a pizza, I never had ice cream when I was younger. Uh, but as I progressed through athletics and, and towards, you know, reaching a, a lifestyle of healthy living, uh, that became more of a habit. It didn't become a habit where I was eating food that I hated. It was just I was picking foods that were good for you, but also tasty. And that's the biggest thing. Isn't it surprising that there actually are healthy foods out there that are tasty too? I know. I know. I had, you know, I had a nutritionist who told me, he said, never sacrifice taste for health because you can find just as many healthy foods that taste good that you like. And, and desperation breeds creativity. So if you're feeling like, oh, I need to accomplish X, Y, Z physically, you will find the food you like. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so that's, that's been my thing where, you know, coming back from what about one more minute, uh, one more minute. chemicals pumped into you and, you know, just feeling terrible. You, know, you don't want that feeling of you know, feeling bloated and terrible and all that stuff again. So it becomes a habit, and it becomes something that you don't even think about. You, know, you go to uh, the cupboard and you get yogurt and granola instead of you know frosted flakes or something like that. You know what I mean? It just becomes something that uh, you enjoy. And we're expecting you to go very high in the draft, right? That, yeah, that's what I'm hoping too. <laughs> that's very exciting. Well, I wish you luck, and for everyone out there who thinks that maybe they can't. He started from ground zero, and he's back, and he's bad. He's bad in a good way. So thank you so <laughs> thank much you for spending much. time with me. And now for you all out there, get to work.